when I hear drop, I think of expectation versus where you eventually land. Yes. So when in that regard, I could see it being Rosen just talking to people around the league. I think there's a chance when you've got those four quarterbacks viewed up there, uh, the consensus seems to be we're going to see three of them go in those top five picks. So that fourth one, I, I could be very well see a team trade up and, and get in there sure. to get them. But in mock drafts, I don't do trades. In, in, in this latest one, I have Rosen dropping out of the top ten. And even uh, if we get to draft night, and if he slid a little bit and maybe got towards 10 in that range, uh, that wouldn't shock me. So why Rosen dropping out of the top 10? I mean, what what is going on here? Yeah, Damn. I mean, look, and I always come back to it and say, I, the, my order how I have them, Sam Darnold, Josh Rosen, Baker Mayfield, Josh Allen. Right. But the ones, Josh Allen just gets so much, you know, so much heat and so much love when you talk to people around the league. It's it's overwhelming. So I can't. It's I, I'm just why because he's been screen. such a hard worker from no, I, I, yeah. which he has been. And yeah. I don't mean I shouldn't say it in, in a way that sounds like I'm denigrating yeah. his hard work. He does have hard work. He yeah. has made himself into what he is right now. He's been overlooked his entire life, yep. right? Which is why he's few people have even seen him play football. And I think the fact that Carson Wentz came from a similar situation well, and has coach, been though. so spectacular yeah. that everybody thinks he's the next one and his measurables from the combine mirror Carson Wentz's. That said, mm -hmm. Rosen has been working his ass off too, mostly, mm -hmm. but he gets he gets downgraded for his intelligence. He gets downgraded for his inquisitiveness. Mm -hmm. He gets downgraded for being an a-hole, mm -hmm. basically, which, you know, we have Trent Dilfer on the show tomorrow said... You know, we butted heads when he was 16, 17, but now he's a different kid. Are haven't scouts and executives seen that from him through yeah. this process? No, I think? think so. And we and we just did. We just put out our, our Josh Rosen 360 podcast where we talked yeah. to his high school coach. We talked to teammates of his at UCLA. We had Moron. We had everybody on. MJD. Dilfer, right. MJD, all those guys. Right. So it was great getting some feedback there. Look, and maybe I'm getting lied to, Rich, but when I talk to people around the league, the concerns that come up with Josh Rosen are not personality-based. It's more so about the injuries that he suffered. And, you know, remember when, when uh, Bridgewater was coming out, so much was made about his narrow frame. You know, Josh's, Josh's frame comes up a little bit, and they say, can he withstand the beating that you're going to take at that position? So I hear more durability concerns, and if you're comparing him directly with Josh Allen, I think he's a better player than Josh Allen, but you talk about, you know, build. I mean, those are – Josh Allen's built like a mountain. Sure. Um, so there's where that's where some of that stuff comes in. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.